Number 10. Alien Technology on Mars A large and mysterious piece of technology may have just been discovered on the planet Mars. The experts are saying the technology may be significantly more advanced than anything human beings have ever been able to develop. The discovery came when NASA uploaded some pictures online that were taken by their Curiosity rover. At first glance, the pictures appear perfectly ordinary. I mean, besides the whole different planet thing. But if you have a keen eye, you may notice something that looks an awful lot like an engine, or at least some kind of artificial technology. The object is long, cylindrical, and appears to be made out of some kind of metal. UFO experts are claiming this is proof that aliens not only once lived on Mars, but that they developed technology far superior to whatever human beings can make. How long the mysterious piece of tech has been sitting on the Martian surface is a mystery. It looks kind of like it could be a jet engine that's been buried in the sand. Unfortunately, there's no way to actually identify it, and NASA claims it's nothing but a rock. Number 9. Billions of T-Rexes in a recent study about one of our favorite dinosaurs, the Tyrannosaurus rex, researchers believe that they have finally figured out just how many of these terrifying dinosaurs used to roam across our planet millions of years ago. According to the lead author of the study, Charles Marshall from the University of California, there were at least 2.5 billion T-Rex living on Earth. That is an astonishing number. This conclusion was reached by calculating body size, reproductive behavior, and how long they spent wandering the globe before the asteroid took them out for good. The study found that these dinosaurs lived over 127,000 generations. When compared to how many generations there are of humans, this number is astronomical. Unfortunately, all 2.5 billion of them were not alive at the same time. Instead, this is spread out during a period between 1.2 and 3.6 million years. The population density was actually pretty small at one time. Researchers say there would have only been about 2 T-Rex in an area the size of Washington, D.C., or 3,800 in California. But if there really were that many, why haven't we found a lot more fossils? Or where do you think most of them will be found in the future? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Number 8. Baboon Mummies A team of researchers in Egypt recently solved a mystery thousands of years in the making after they discovered the origins of 155 baboon mummies recovered from tombs and temples. The mystery has to do with a place called the Land of Punit, which historians know served as a trading partner with ancient Egypt for over a thousand years. However, researchers have never been able to figure out where this place was. They know the land of Punit traded things like gold, incense, and sacred baboons to Egypt. But it wasn't until archaeologists got their hands on some of these baboons, which the Egyptians had turned into mummies, that they figured out where the land of Punit really was. Nathaniel J. Domini, a lead study author, wrote a paper about a chemical element that acts as a geographic fingerprint of sorts, called strontium. The chemical is found in bedrock, and as it breaks down, it enters the food chain. This allows experts to find traces of it in hair, teeth, and bone. Then they can piece together clues about where an animal was born and where it lived before it died. The method allowed researchers to determine at least five of the baboons that were studied resided in Egypt for quite a while before death, indicating the Egyptians ran a captive breeding program. The researchers took tissue samples from the 155 baboons found in Egypt and linked them to locations in Ethiopia, Somalia, and Yemen. This means the legendary land of Punit was in the area of what would later become the Kingdom of the Queen of Sheba, with the capital probably in what is modern Ethiopia. The baboons were one of the most valuable trade items, since the Egyptians viewed them as a physical representation of the god Thoth, ruler of magic, and god of the moon. Number 7. Worm Tornado 
the discovery of a terrifying worm tornado in New Jersey recently shocked scientists. It's not that unusual for earthworms to be brought to the surface during spring rains. This is actually one of the main reasons you always see earthworms wriggling over the sidewalks during heavy rainfall. But during a recent rainstorm near New York City, something a little more unusual formed. Something locals have dubbed the Wormnado. Luckily, this Wormnado didn't physically form in the sky. There wasn't an actual tornado composed of billions of worm bodies either. Instead, a resident of the small town of Hoboken stumbled upon hundreds and hundreds of worms swirling around in a tornado shape on the sidewalk. She told Live Science that they made a spiraling cyclone at the edge of the grass and the concrete, something she had never seen before. No one had. Scientists have yet to find a reason why the worms formed this strange tornado formation on the sidewalk. They say it might have had something to do with worm herding behavior, something they've been known to perform while on the surface. Worms can actually communicate to one another through touch, allowing large masses of worms to all move in one direction like a school of fish. Do you have any other ideas on why the worms did this? If you do, let us know in the comment section down below. And if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 6. Anunnaki Statue on Mars in one of the most shocking space discoveries ever, a statue of an ancient Anunnaki god was discovered on the surface of Mars. The discovery is yet again thanks to a NASA rover which captured the image of the Martian planet with something looking like a broken statue, blending in almost perfectly with the dust. The object is only visible when zooming in on the image, but it looks shockingly familiar to the statues of the Anunnaki that have been found in ancient Mesopotamia. For those who don't know, the Anunnaki are believed to be aliens who descended to Earth about 10,000 years ago and enslaved humans to help them mine for gold. They helped humans develop technology and assisted them in building some of the greatest ancient monuments such as the pyramids in Egypt. There are skeptics that say our brains are just playing tricks. Nothing more than something called pareidolia, which means we only think we're seeing a familiar face or shape. But then there are the people that really believe that there is a lot more to Mars than what we've been told. The fact that a statue of an Anunnaki may be hiding on Mars could be proof that there really was an ancient civilization on the Red Planet. It could be that the Anunnaki enslaved them and then wiped out the civilization before moving on to Earth. Number 5. Tortilla Fish A fisherman in Florida made a bizarre discovery when he reeled in what has been called a tortilla fish. The discovery was a major surprise because it's nothing like people have ever seen before. People usually catch tuna or something, not weird fish that look like tortillas. And it really did. The fish is a very pale tan with dark brown spots, just like a tortilla you'd get when you order a burrito at Taco Bell. The angler's name is Tom Bosworth, a retiree living near Tampa Bay. He caught the fish back in March when he was out on an expedition with two of his friends. However, the fish was such a weird catch that it wasn't even identified until months later at the end of August. Finally, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission figured out what the weird animal was. It's called an orange filefish, and it's one of the stranger species that can be found off the coast of Florida. One of the reasons not too many anglers know about the fish is that it's not a very satisfying creature to catch. Ocean predators may like to eat orange filefish, but definitely not humans. They have leathery skin, almost no meat, and usually make people who try to eat them sick. Number 4 glowing reptiles. Scientists in Africa recently discovered reptiles that glow fluorescent in the dark. The glowing reptiles are special geckos that live in Namibia and have bright stripes and spots that turn neon at night to keep the lizards from being eaten by predators. The species has special translucent skin with the bones underneath glowing bright blue when put under ultraviolet light. Humans can't necessarily see when the lizards are glowing, but other animals certainly can. 
What's really shocking is that as scientists do more research on the phenomenon of glowing lizards, they find more and more species. Even lizards like chameleons sometimes glow fluorescent. This shared attribute suggests modern lizards are more closely related to one another than previously thought. Other than just glowing in the dark to scare away predators, geckos use the ability to spot other geckos from a great distance. But why exactly geckos, which are solitary animals, need to spot one another through the jungle is still a bit of a mystery. Number 3. The Accident Object a mysterious object, nicknamed the Accident, has been slowly sailing through the Milky Way for about 10 billion years. Astronomers made the incredible discovery not long ago, though they can't quite figure out what the object is. It's definitely not a star, and it's not really a planet. It might be something between a brown dwarf and a failed star, a kind of accidental creation of the universe. Things are about to get extremely science fiction, so hold on to your socks. Brown dwarf stars are typically 80 times larger than the planet Jupiter, yet hold only a small fraction of the mass of our Sun. These celestial objects start life as stars, but never build up enough mass to sustain the necessary nuclear fusion inside their core. Because of this, they begin to cool and get dim over millions of years until they're basically dead embers floating through space. The accident was discovered by accident by a civilian scientist doing a casual survey of the sky. Even after getting the attention of professional scientists, nobody seems to be able to fully identify the thing. All they know is that it's about the size of a brown dwarf, but has been floating aimlessly for over twice the amount of time that Earth has been a planet. Oh yeah, and it's moving somewhere around 500,000 miles an hour. This has also boggled scientists because brown dwarfs don't typically move that fast. It almost moves as if being propelled by super engines. Number 2. Ancient Battering Rams Archaeologists uncovered four ancient battering rams used by the Romans in a battle that took place in 241 BCE. Each of these huge rams weigh a whopping 450 pounds. They were originally attached to the front of warships and used during the Battle of the Agates to decimate the opposing Carthaginian fleet. This battle took place during the first Punic War between Rome and Phoenicia, with Carthage being the old capital in what is modern Tunisia. The conflict lasted a full 23 years, the longest naval war in ancient times. The problem was that Rome occupied Sicily and the Phoenicians operated out of Carthage, which was literally just across the water. There was no settling the dispute, and so the two great civilizations fought to the death. But as you may already know, it was Rome that won the battle and the war. These ancient rams are a great reminder of just how powerful and advanced the Roman war machine was when it conquered the world. Number 1. Space Sword The Hubble telescope captured a space sword stabbing a giant celestial heart in one of the most captivating images ever taken by a telescope. In scientific terms, this is a phenomenon called a Herbig Harrow object. The object is in fact what looks like a flaming blue sword sticking through a beating orange heart in the middle of the cosmos. But despite the way it looks, the sword is not a physical thing. It's composed of superheated gas blasting through space from opposite poles of a newly born star. The heart in this image, the beating orange core, is in fact the newborn star. It's one of the rarest moments ever captured in space, making it a once-in-a-lifetime photograph. The new star was born in the constellation Orion, pretty close to us at about 1300 light years away. As the new star was born, gas blew out of its poles. Think of energy beams shooting out of the Earth's north and south pole. The intense light was then captured using Hubble's Wide Field Camera 3, revealing the phenomenon in both infrared and optical wavelengths. The truly uncanny thing is that the blasts of energy create a massive cosmic sword even bigger than our planet. Thanks for watching. Which of these incredible discoveries shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and come back again for more awesome videos. See you next time. Bye.